guys, what's up? Welcome back to our Z Roll, and today we are making some Christmas coffee drinks. Okay, so Cassidy's actually holding the camera, Lacey's over here, and they're gonna be my taste, taste testers. testers. Um, but we're gonna make three different drinks and then a bonus. Okay, three coffee drinks and then a, a, a drink for the kids. So, we're going to make a eggnog latte, we're going to make a peppermint chocolate mocha, and then one that I made up, and that is a caramel butter pecan Americano. So we have like the three, like I, I would say, essential coffee drinks, the latte, the mocha, and the Americano. And we're gonna do like a, a hot chocolate for the kids, but it's kind of more like a, like, a, like a, a gourmet, if you will, hot chocolate. That will taste good for really anybody, if you're a kid at heart, or anyone like that. So, what we're going to be using for this is Obviously, we've got the eggnog. We're gonna be using whole milk. Also, chocolate milk. And butter pecan syrup. And a peppermint syrup. Chocolate Ghirardelli sauce. Syrup? Sauce? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds weird saying sauce. sauce. I just feel like it's hot sauce. Ready Whip whipped cream. Honestly, this Ready Whip is, it's good. Something about how creamy this is on your mochas and stuff. We have caramel Ghirardelli sauce. sauce. <laughs> and then a little bit of cinnamon and as all well. all the stuff we got, you can just get your grocery store except for syrups, right? Where'd you get the syrups at? So you can go to like any kind of like restaurant, restaurant store or something like that. You can find some syrup at like Fred Meyer, Walmart, Winco. But if you want like a more of a selection, um, go to like a restaurant store. Mm -hmm. um, also, that's where I found these Ghirardelli's at a restaurant store. But again, you can find these probably really anywhere. But again, if you're looking for more selection, go there. So for all three coffee drinks, the mocha, the latte, and the Americano, we are going to run two shots of espresso. You can do one shot, you can do four shots, you can do ten shots. But for this example, we're going to be doing two shots. Now, this is, I, I love this espresso machine. We get a lot of like, People ask us a lot about this espresso machine. It is the Breville, Breville, Breville. I don't know how, it's fancy, it's too fancy for me. But honestly, love everything about this. But you don't have to have an expensive espresso machine to make espresso. I mean, Ninja makes an espresso machine. Like, actually what I'll do, I have a article that has like, um, espresso machines under $100. Um, links for those. I'll post that below this video. So if you don't have an espresso machine and you want one, it's a good gift idea for under 100 bucks. There you go. This one will set you back around six or seven hundred. I know, but it's, it's we worth. We spent that much on this. <laughs> I didn't even know that. We spent some bones on it. Actually, we got it. We got it on a Black Friday uh, deal last year. It was like a few, couple hundred dollars off of it, so it actually wasn't as bad. But normal price retail, it's around six or seven hundred dollars. Oh but it's worth it. Yeah. Do you know what espresso means? No. Oh, what does espresso mean, barista? <laughs> Um, uh, it means fast coffee. It means fast coffee. I just like, it's on me, I remember learning that when I was a barista. Fast really? coffee. I didn't know that, fun facts. I know that. Well, so, well, coffee fun facts are coming so in. So Lacey's the barista, <laughs> I have, I don't know, I just, I've learned from making lots of coffee. And I don't really like making it anymore. I mean, it's okay, but I enjoy like. I just wish I was a barista. You making it for me. Yeah. I always wanted to be a barista. It is a really, it is fun. This is the thing, when we bought this, I was still thinking we would go to Starbucks as much as we did. We actually go to Starbucks less now because we have this. And that wasn't for sure a thing that we mm -hmm. thought would happen. Because you know sometimes you're like, well, if we get this, then we won't go here as much. Like, But we, we, we honestly, okay, this is the thing. I'm not going to say that we make better coffee than Starbucks. I'm going to say that we can customize it the way we like it. If that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm not going to say it's better, but it's better for us because we can customize how we like it. Right. So without further ado, Let's run some shots. The espresso's ready, but I'm not gonna run the shot yet because I'm gonna get the milk all frothed. And there's different temperatures and all that kind of stuff. I usually go by touch, and I kind of know by touch um, where everything is at, how hot it is. Um, but when you first start out, I definitely would make sure that you have a thermometer in there and you can look online for different things of what temperature things are. Bless you. 
So for this, we're going to do a little bit of milk, a little bit of eggnog. And just so you know, when you're making an eggnog latte, you actually want to have a little bit of milk in there, not much, but just a little bit because it actually helps with it being a little more creamier. Um, but not too much milk because you want it to actually taste like eggnog. So just a little bit of milk, a splash of milk, and the rest, eggnog. Now we're gonna go ahead and froth it. So the eggnog and the splash of milk is froth. Make sure you kind of stir it up a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and run our shots. Lacey, how long can a shot last before it's bad? Like without anything in it? I forget, I forget the exact time. I just remember we had to pour them in milk right away or they'd like get bitter. Seconds, it's like though. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So after you run the shot, you need to make sure you mix it immediately with something. Or it'll go bad. Or it'll go bad. So in this case, right when it's done, this is why I do this first. And it's still, it still is hot. Um, but then I'll take it. You have your shots right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put my eggnog right in there. Just like that. And we'll go right on top, nice and slow. Then, I put a little bit of cinnamon on top for the eggnog latte. Boom. That right there is the eggnog latte. Okay, so Lacey's gonna come over here, and this is her, I actually asked Cassie and Lacey which drink they wanted. And so, Lacey wanted the eggnog latte. Mm. So, see how it is. She's the barista, so she should know. Very good. The is shot's it? perfect, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Shot is perfect, guys. Mm -hmm. How's the eggnog? Can you taste it? Yeah, not like as strong as I like it, mm. but it's still, I can taste it. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. So in that case, you probably want to just do a little bit, a little bit less splash of milk and more eggnog. It's hard to figure that out because eggnog is still kind of like, it's, not, it's, I don't know what it is because with the espresso and the eggnog, it's so hard to taste it. But you still want a little milk in there, so. Right. I don't know, you have to kind of play with that a little bit. So the next Christmas drink is the Butter Pecan Americano. So the Americano is actually one of my favorite drinks because it's just two shots of espresso and water. And that's honestly the coffee drink that we make 90% of the time as far as like mornings go. Mm -hmm. um, am I right? Oh, Lacey's sure. like, amen, I'm back there. <laughs> um, but it's, a, it, you know, there's a little additional steps if you want to add a little bit more to it. Um, but the, the, the foundation of it is two shots of espresso and hot water. Um, but what we'll do is because we're making the butter pecan, we're gonna go ahead and add like a, an ounce or so of butter pecan syrup at the very bottom. Then we're gonna go ahead and run our shot. Shots, two shots. See that, you wanna, you wanna see just that golden brown coming out of there. Okay, now that the shots our ran, look, look, just look at that. That is like a perfect shot right there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put hot water in here. You can come closer. And we're gonna fill up the hot water. And for this cup, this is like a, an eight ounce cup. We kinda just put it right to about there on the cup. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and just give it a good stir because again, we have that butter pecan syrup at the very bottom. And then we are going to add some whipped cream. And some Ghirardelli caramel drizzle on top. Make a little design. Boom! And there you go. You have the caramel butter pecan Americano. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yep. I like it. There you have it. <laughs> she likes it. Okay, so the last one before we move on to the gourmet hot chocolate is the peppermint mocha. Now, this one's a little bit... There's just more steps involved with this one. This is why I don't make mochas very often at all but we're gonna do it today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some Ghirardelli chocolate. And what I like to do is actually layer it in the very bottom with some chocolate, just a little bit. Okay, so my shot's all ready to go, but we're not gonna run it yet. We're gonna go ahead and froth the milk first. This time we're gonna just use chocolate milk. I would prefer having whole milk, chocolate milk, but they're all out at the stores. So this is just 1%, but we have the Ghirardelli chocolate so it will give a little more richness to it. It's perfect, look at that. It's just, it's just perfect froth. Go ahead and run the shots with the chocolate sauce inside the cup. Go ahead and put about, I don't know, two and a half pumps peppermint. It just depends if you want it sweeter or not as sweet. 
I feel like with a mocha, if you're gonna go sweet, go sweet. Is this because it's already a sweet coffee? Okay, I'm gonna give it a good stir. Remember that chocolate's at the very bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the chocolate milk right on top. Okay, there's the mocha with some froth on top. Boom, 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 boom. And you can put like candy cane on top if you wanna make it really spicy. We don't have that right now, but that will make it look really nice. Spicy as in fancy. Spicy as in fancy. <laughs> Bottoms up. Oh my gosh. Babe, come over here. Okay. This is the first time I've actually made a peppermint mocha before. Oh, the regular mochas. Yeah. That looks like really Taste chocolatey. That. that Ghirardelli chocolate in there. That's really rich, but it's really good. And the peppermint, it's perfect, you can huh? taste too. It's perfect, yeah. I usually don't order peppermint mochas. Because they're sweet. They're just so sweet, but I mean... I would drink this. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't either. I, I wouldn't spend five dollars. I drink black coffee. Yeah. I drink straight espresso. So that's like overkill. Mm -hmm. However, it's one of those things where you're like, you know what? I just want a dessert. Yeah. That's a dessert. It is. It is a good dessert coffee. So now for the little bonus drink, make a hot chocolate for the boys. Put chocolate milk inside here, and we're going to go ahead and froth it. Okay, so pro tip, do not make your milk as hot as you would from regular coffee drinks because it's for kids. Um, so, I'm going to make these from little to-go cups because the boys are outside playing. So what I do is I'm actually going to put the peppermint, give a couple, couple pumps of peppermint inside the cup. And I'm going to do the same kind of thing as put a little bit of Ghirardelli at the very bottom of the cup. Kind of looks gross, but there it is. And then we just put the chocolate right on top, and it has nice, it's nice and frothed and perfect. Look at that, just good. These are big cups, so we're gonna go halfway, just like that. And then we're gonna give it a nice little stir, so all of the goodness, the very bottom, the peppermint, and the Ghirardelli chocolate is all mixed in. And then for kicks and giggles, put some whipped cream right on top and a little bit more of chocolate and there you go you have a gourmet cup of hot cocoa peppermint hot cocoa Ooh. right you have a peppermint in it? yeah oh, it's gourmet really peppermint good. hot chocolate yeah i know i don't even want to give that's these to the really boys good. anymore i know i don't think they they don't they don't appreciate this they don't deserve it <laughs> <laughs> well guys, there's our holiday drinks with a bonus hot chocolate mm -hmm. and it tastes really good now I I feel like I'm like over caffeinated because I already had coffee before we filmed this and, and then I, behind the scenes He's like taste testing like the other ones do like. so like I feel like I'm talking faster and faster and faster as this, as this video goes But it's good because we're actually gonna film another video for vlogmas right after this so we're we're good to go So if you're like <laughs> hyped up on that one, you'll know why yeah. But yeah, it was fun. I think these are good like three Kind of like holiday staples we'll do like mm -hmm. eggnog lattes we do americanos but it made it a little bit more like yeah. fancy with the flavor and the peppermint mocha and that hot chocolate was this is really good. yummy it's good so, stuff yeah. so hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you have any questions man i love to nerd out when it comes to coffee so let me know and again we're gonna go ahead and link that little like espresso like guide as far as like the best espressos in 2021 under 100 bucks it's a really cool article so go check it out if you're looking for that. It's a really good gift because you're looking for a bigger kind of gift. Mm -hmm. So, um, but just so you guys know, we do love this special machine. It just is, a, it's just, it's pricey for days, but we use it a ton. We do. And we love it. But anyway, we love you guys. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.